weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. It's a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again. Welcome back to another episode of Contracts and Cocktails. I'm Kelly Bowling. I'm Carolyn Smith. Today, we are going to delve like into... I know, right? It's like my anchor voice again. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about, speaking of anchors, yeah. um, how social media has become like the new CNN and like the encyclopedia and where to educate yourself on things. Now, sometimes that education is not necessarily good because everything's skewed and there's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot. A yeah. whole lot. I have seen so much of it and I'm like, that's not... Correct. But I'm also not going to be the person that comments on it and tells them no. they're wrong. I'm not doing that. No, we don't do that. But we, you know, do a lot of research for, you know, real estate, personal things like medical research. Yes. Um, I've done, I mean, my daughter was recently diagnosed with ADHD and I did a lot of research after she got her diagnosis on how it's, you know, different in girls and mm -hmm. different behaviors. And sometimes I'm like, Wait, do I have that? Do you do that? Where you yes. watch somebody's talking about the symptoms? Sounds of, like everything of you X have. Disease, and yes. I'm like, oh my god, I might have it's that. It's hypochondria <laughs> or something. Oh, I have all these symptoms. Yeah, that's. I, and, yes, I definitely have that. And mm -hmm. then you'll look at something else. And be like, I have that too. No, yes. I don't have any of those things. <laughs> but it's easy to do that. But it's so easy, you know. And when we were growing up, like the only research that we had available to us was like going to the library yes. and looking at the encyclopedia yeah. or reading an actual newspaper. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, I get all of my local news from Facebook because let me yes. tell you, all those neighborhood groups that you're a part of yes. where you live, they know what's going on. They're yes. like, there is a helicopter circling. Yes. Why is what's, what's going happening? on? And then somebody will have an answer. It might not be the right one, but somebody will. You know, the cool thing about social media is like, well, I'll say like the lost pets thing. Like, yes. I think that that's awesome. Like you lose your dog and the whole world's looking for your dog yes. or, um, or just like there's a problem, there's there's helicopters circling or there's been an accident or something. I mean, that's awesome. And then yeah. the research part is fantastic. It like is, yeah. if I want to know, you know, your daughter was diagnosed with ADHD, if I want to know more about that and and what are the options and what are the, what are the best ways or what have other parents done to help their help child? Their yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, what's the long term prognosis? Is there anything I can do? Fabulous. But there's also misinformation. And I think we come from a little bit more of a questioning. And I worry a little bit about my kids. Oh, yes. Watching that stuff and just thinking everything they see. I noticed with my son, especially like he would watch something that was newsy, mm -hmm. but it was really opinion. Yes, it wasn't really news. And he would be like, Oh, no, that's the way it is. Yeah. And it's hard to sort of say to them, you know, no, just because somebody said it, doesn't make it true. And it's right. on a screen or, you know, yeah. yeah. So well, I, I feel like, you know, yeah. even the actual news these days, a lot of it is skewed one way or another. Absolutely. Depending on what channel you watch. Yes. So I don't watch any of it. And I started not watching the news because my husband worked overseas and I would get friends messaging me, oh my gosh, did you see what just happened in Iraq? And I'm like, no, on purpose, I didn't see it right. because I don't need to know. If I need to know, he will tell me. And I think so. it's, it makes you almost depressed if you watch, I mean, look, don't get us wrong. We, you know, something huge is going on or we're whatever. aware. Of we're aware. Yeah. Um, you can't not be aware. Mm -hmm. But I think watching the news is a bad thing. It's like a spiral down. Like you get sucked in and they they get you to watch by telling you all the negative stuff. So it's right. like everything's horrible. Oh, yeah. The everything's headlines. horrible. I read one. Everyone's killing each other. I it's, read one last week and the headline was that this like 77 year old grandmother, I think it was in Texas that she was arrested for not paying her trash bill. And I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> this poor woman. And so then you actually- I'm sorry, I'm laughing. That's it's, terrible. It's ridiculous, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and it was like, you know, a, a $72 trash bill. It wasn't even $100, yeah. right? And so then you open the article. And the truth of the matter is that she was notified multiple times and she was served with an appearance for court, of which she missed. So the arrest Contempt was actually for- Failure to mm -hmm. appear in court. It yeah. was a bench warrant. Yeah. And so it's like they grab you in with these clickbaity headlines yeah. and you're like, this is an injustice. This yes. poor grandmother. Yeah. And she bailed herself out with her $72 citation or whatever, and or somebody did in her family. Right. And off she went about her merry way. But it really made the police 
out in a really negative light yeah. when they're just doing their job, serving right. a warrant that was issued by a court, right. by a judge. And, you know, I just, the headline just grabbed me and I'm like, oh my gosh. And yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's how a lot of the headlines are. I try not to, you know, once in a while I'll succumb and I'll type in, you know, I, we don't read the news except online anymore, right. but I'll type in like one of the websites for the news mm-hmm. and I'll start reading it. And then I'm like, and whatever you're reading, it gives you more of it. So if it's like some serial killer thing or whatever, right. then you're reading and then, then you're afraid to leave your house. <laughs> like literally you've locked every door. The Do blinds are down on Netflix. Do not. <laughs> I won't be watching that. I tried. I got it like 15 minutes in and I said, no. Nope. No, can't do it. No, I can't. No scary movies, no mm-hmm. documentaries, no nothing. But, you know, I feel like, mm, I don't know. But the TikTok, I don't know why the Facebook and the Instagram and the t- there's there is educational stuff there. Yes. And if you follow a reputable person, yeah. like follow an actual doctor that specializes in the treatment of whatever condition that you're looking at. Yeah. There's a really good doctor on there, Doc Ammon. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but he was on the Kardashian. So okay. uh, that kind of discredits him a little bit, but <laughs> we like the Kardashians. I, do. I don't, I know <laughs> not everybody does, but he now has we're gonna a lot get the of haters. I know, right? <laughs> he does have a lot of interesting topics that he talks about why certain things are good for you and bad for you. Yeah. And he specializes in like the brain and how yeah. it works and how it affects every other part of your body. So I like some of his stuff. It's really interesting. Yeah. And they're, they're short and informative and you're not reading you're just watching and somebody's and you're like oh i get that and then do you ever do this you're like i read somewhere yeah i actually watched it on tiktok if i tell you that i read somewhere it's not true i did not read Sometimes it i think i read it like i can't really remember where i where you saw, saw it. it or read mm-hmm. it or whatever and i'm like oh yeah i read that no i didn't yeah i some random person <laughs> on tiktok or facebook right and then my daughter will come out and she's like are you watching tiktoks oh and the other day she comes out i forgot to tell you this she comes out she's like I found your TikToks. <laughs> and I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I found your TikToks. She's like, and she's like, I think that's so cool you're doing TikToks. Yeah. She said they're really good. Oh, good. She likes our TikToks. Oh, good. Well, that's good to hear these, these little clips yeah, that you I'm get. Not, I'm not a big poster. Well, but. it's really funny because like I had a TikTok that I started a couple years ago when it first, like, you know, the yeah. pandemic and I didn't really have much posted on there. And then I think over the summer, like when we went on vacation, I yeah. posted some other stuff. And one of my son's friends who doesn't live locally anymore, like he moved away, but he comes yeah. back in the summertime to visit, told him, he was like, hey, I found your mom's TikTok. And I was like, this not is Not only fans, weird. it's TikTok. Right? No, thank God. Whew, no, we're not doing that. Yeah. Nobody's paying for this. But I think that it's interesting. And like I notice whenever, if I get a new follower on TikTok, uh-huh. if it's somebody that I know personally or I know of from our industry, yeah. oh, man, I do a little uh, cringe on the inside, like, right. oh, God. Because it's like that shyness, you know, like, I don't want them to know. I don't want them to see me or judge me. But it's all been really positive feedback, which is. I think here, I watch TikToks. They're fun. Yeah. Kelly posts. Kelly posts much more than. Yeah. But it's more than me. It's not hard to do. It literally has nothing to do with real estate. So, (laughs) you know. Yeah. But it's fun. And I, I, you know, I think it's cool that the kids do it and it's interesting to me how i'll like someone we watch we both watch that guy who does the food who is not oh, a food critic keith lee yeah. you have to find this man yeah. on tiktok because so he fun. does like food reviews mm-hmm. i don't know where he actually lives because he goes all over he lives in food. las vegas okay he yeah. lives in vegas yeah. so that makes sense because yeah. he does get to go all over yeah and he will go and get food from a restaurant or whatever or he'll order these like bougie cookies that are but like he, yeah he doesn't eat Usually he doesn't eat in the place, but he's been traveling more now. So yeah. he'll eat in the, he, that one, he usually eats in his car he went to or his house. That place in downtown Disney. Yeah. The Gideon's Gideon's Bakehouse. Gideon's to try the cookies. And then he was filming like in their uh, like, you know, customer area yeah. where people sit and eat. And then they were they saw him filming. I'm like, oh, they were gonna kick him out. No, they let him go in the back yeah. and film in peace and quiet. And he really did like one of those cookies, but they were crazy looking cookies. They were. He spent a hundred dollars on cookies. He spent a hundred. But have you ever been there? Or no. like, so my son has wanted to get cookies from there, and that line looks like that. He line showed that, that he line. Showed. It was literally. I was like, we are not doing that. Mm-hmm. We are not waiting in a line I for like cookies. A cookie, but not that much. Yeah, he said. He said it wasn't that bad. It was like thirty five minutes. minutes. It looked like a three hour line. Are you standing in line for a, a, a not, ride or a I'm, cookie? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not standing in line for anything anymore. Well, yeah. that's a whole nother thing about the theme park. And I grew up going to those and those lines. Yeah. No. Yeah. But that's just crazy. Yeah. He's amazing. We love yeah. watching him. And he's really like, 
His reactions are true. I love, and he doesn't do just the, those. He talked the other day. Did I send you the one where he had been out for a run and he posted oh, yeah. something yeah, and his yeah, wife his was wife. like, oh, you're at the gas station. I would like an icy. icy. And he was like, now, you know, if I don't bring home that icy, I'm never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> and the icy machine was broken. Yes. They had to go to another store. He went all like oh. to Target and he's like, I didn't even get the free popcorn. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, he went to Target and he said he had just been running. So he's like, I didn't smell too good. Oh, no. And he met some people that recognized him and like, can we take a picture with you? He was like, uh, I was all sweaty. He's been talking about some restaurant, some family owned restaurant. Is it? It's not Cuban. But it's something like that. Yeah. That he's gone a couple times mm -hmm. and he, he's never had that kind of food before. Yeah. It's some ethnic food. I don't know which right. one. And I want to go to that. It's some little mom and pop that, that somebody emailed him and said, and, and that apparently, yeah, yeah. Did you see the, the people said that they were getting ready? Like they were thinking about closing their. Oh, restaurant. wow. Because it had been so Probably slow. Been a big boost to their business. And they, they thanked him. And oh, he's wow. like, well, I just tell the truth. Like, I, you know, just because you invite me or send right. me free stuff or whatever, I'm just going to tell you my real opinion. And he does. Yeah. He'll give people a three out of 10. Or, and I'm like, why do we trust his taste buds? But it's. I feel like he's. Well, and he does say sometimes, like, if it's a three out of 10, he's yeah. like, but I don't really like sweet things that much. Yeah. So, so if for, you like, my parents would like it, it would be right? a nine or whatever. Yeah. Or yeah. his he's wife. He's pretty honest about yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But he's fun to watch. We, you know, we enjoy watching. So a lot of it's entertainment, but. But I also, I do feel like I'm getting a lot of good information. I, I'll tell you, I watch a lot of realtors on there. Yeah. Um, what not to do. Yes. <laughs> I watch a lot of what not, but I also, there's some really good ones on there and I'm, and they're sharing the benefit of their knowledge or just a certain situation. And I'm, I'm always, you always learn something from that. Yeah, definitely. So I try and follow, if you follow different people, it's like the algorithms. Yeah. They just start putting things Sometimes in your it feet. sends me weird stuff where I'm like. What what did I what did I search or what did I to end up with this? Right. I don't want to see any, and I want to have like a little X or something where I can say, please don't send me any more. Like this I didn't anymore. like that. Yeah, yeah. Did, like yeah, yeah. It should have a. Like, I feel like the how quick you scroll through kind of tells it like, oh, that's not interesting to me. But if you watch the whole thing, and part of it is like they'll send you stuff that's such a train wreck, you can help. You cannot help yourself. You I have know. to watch the whole but thing. Then I was like, I don't ever want to see any of those yeah. again. The and longer I, you watch, the more it ends up in your feed. This is true. Stop sending me. And I feel like if you hit follow on people, then it sends you more people that like are like that. that. Yeah. So then you want to follow people. And then I'm like, I don't want to follow these people, but I want them to send me more like that. Yeah. I just don't want to see all you the other You have to be stuff. really careful too with don't heart something until you've watched the whole thing to make sure that you are hearing all of the things that they have to say, because it might sound like it's going to be something you're going to like. And then at the end, it's like, that is not at all what I thought it was. So yeah. Then you don't want to get the rest of that kind of stuff in your feed. You can unheart it. You can. You can. Yeah. But if you and what is our TikTok? We have a TikTok. Oh yeah, it's Life by the Beach, Florida. Life by the Beach, all Florida. together. Yeah. Like one word, no like underscores. Life by the Beach, Florida. Yeah. That's our TikTok. We post our clips on there, and every now and again, something else. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. From the area. Yeah. And You'll then have we to have like watch and find out. Um, Facebook. We have yes. Instagram, but those are just coastal state team. Yes. Yeah. So are easier to find. Our TikTok. I think our name on TikTok is our name, Coastal State. I don't well, know. Well, that's like the nickname, but to find yeah. us, it's the at, at Left, by, left the Beach, by the Beach, Florida. Florida. Find us. You can watch our clips, and then you can watch And if you, if you friend us, then you can send us funny videos. That, that we may repost. Yeah, so you never know. Send us your funny. It's like uh, America's Funny. Funny as <laughs> videos. It really is. I used to love that show. We'd yeah. watch it every weekend when it came now on. Now can watch it on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's winning $10,000, but you could get sponsored. You never know. It's not going to be us, but somebody's going to get sponsored. <laughs> I saw some girl like saying how much she loves something, and she's like, and I want to buy everything that, that this girl has or whatever. And she's like, but I can't afford the Dyson. And so then the girl, what's it called? Stitch or... Oh, and they, yeah, they do a little bit of that person's video and then, yeah. yeah so she stitch. stitched her and she's like, so sweet. And she's like, I'm sending her a Dyson. She's oh, wow. Like, DM me and I'm going to send you a Dyson. That's so cool. I know. That was cute. Yeah. So maybe we'll send you something. We could send you. Could send you a mug. Or Yeti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. I'm not guaranteeing anything. We would need your address. There's a lot of logistical things involved here. But they could like send us a little message. Can you message each other? Yeah. See, I don't know how TikTok works. Can you yeah, message? I think oh, so. you can. Yes, I message we send you. videos to each other. Yeah, see. <laughs> what is it called? DMs. DMs. Slide into our DMs. <laughs> I think we should add that as like a hashtag. Well, slide let's, into our DMs. But you know, then here's the thing with the DMs. We've yeah. had people slide into our DMs. Oh. And I will fall into a rabbit hole to be like, is this a real person? And I'm like, Kelly, no. 
No. I was like, Carolyn, no. <laughs> this man is performing a live concert in his backyard. He's a DJ. And it is not good. And then when he started calling Kelly honey and um, like, good night, no, honey, I was like, definitely a creeper. For this is sure. not someone looking for real estate. No, they're looking for something else. Slide entirely. out of my DMs <laughs> immediately. Yes, immediately. <laughs> that, that was handled. Like, Kelly, how do we block this person? I don't know. I don't get a lot of the weirdos, but every now and again, mm. one slides through. But I hear a lot of other women realtors that talk about how they get the creepy everything. I block yeah. I find that like Facebook has gotten really good at blocking them immediately. You have mm-hmm. to go into like a special little part right. of the messages to actually see the um the creepy people. Yeah. And Instagram does the same thing where yeah. it just puts them into like a different mailbox that I don't always look at those requests. I never look requests. at those. And I've missed like people wanting so look, if you want to buy a house, sell a house, talk about real estate, don't just DM us because you might be I mean, I hate to say you could fall into that speed you could folder. Be in the creepy folder and we don't look at that. So the best thing is to like email us directly or, or text us. Text us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All our information is available. Yeah. You just Google our names and boom. Yes. Or Although, light, go to lightbythebeach.com. Yeah. That's our website. It has all our contact information. You can send it to hello at coastalestateteam.com and just say who you trying to reach. Right. Although I will say what? we have somewhat common names because yes. when I first started in real estate, there is another Kelly Bowling spelled exactly the same way. Yes. and. I was working at Remax. She was a Remax agent. I got her emails all the time. She's no longer with Remax. Neither are we. But I still get her emails all the time because yeah. she has a Gmail and there's like one initial between her first and last name that I feel like some people just don't see that. Right. So then they're typing really fast. I've gotten offers to purchase homes. I've gotten inspection reports. And she's in Alabama. Um, and I hear she's amazing. Um, so if you're in Alabama. Well, with a name like Kelly Bowling, you have to be good. <laughs> well, then, and then we got the one. Oh, well, there's so many Carolyn Smiths. I mean, yes. I go to the doctor. There's 27 of us. But yes. there's another. There's another Compass agent that just Carolyn joined. Carolyn Smith. And team. I started getting all her. I mean, Compass even messed it up where I was getting. They, her email. They stuff. signed her like the same email address as me. So then I'm getting all her emails. And then my emails are disappearing because then they tried yeah. to reassign it. And it's a mess. So it's been. Yeah. I feel like it's been straightened out now. It was pretty quick. I like. I was like, mine, something's not right. I feel like there might be another because it yeah. does happen. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So just, but you can find us. Yes. You can find us. Melbourne, yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne Beach, Florida. Indian really Atlantic. Easy to find. And we'll get stuff for Australia. Sometimes. Oh, yes. And we're like, yes. this sounds weird. I've had actual buyers, like in California, they'll be like, I'm looking for a place for my dad. Yeah. And I'm like, great. And then I'm like, so what are you looking for? And like the stuff that they're looking for and the price points are not matching up to our area. So I'm just like. Okay, Melbourne, Florida, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Oh no, Australia," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, no, wrong Melbourne." Mm-hmm. So we do sometimes, like when we're doing like targeted things, those. we can like exclude those, you know. That I country. get those. The last person I got was in Chicago and got a job in Australia, and they lucky were, them. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, good for them. They were talking about the Gold Coast, and I'm like, mm. ah, "That's Australia. Yeah. That's Australia." So yeah, but you can find us. You just have to try. And did you know Melbourne? Why Melbourne is named Melbourne? Do you know that? I don't know. So the original postmaster, postman who worked in our area, the very first way back, I don't know if it's 1800s, whatever, Mm -hmm. because Melbourne was started in the 1800s. He was from Melbourne, Australia. Really? And he, he, because he was the first postman, he got to name the area. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's named Melbourne. That's very interesting. I know. And it's not Melbourne. Just in case anyone's wondering, it's pronounced the Australian way. It's also not Melbourne. There's not lots Melbourne. to do here. It used to be Melbourne. <laughs> I grew up here. <laughs> it's gotten better, right? It still had the beach, but yeah, now yeah. it's not. But Melbourne. I know my brother just sent me an article about some Vietnamese restaurant. And is that pho? Pho or pho? I don't pho? know how you say it. It's not it pho. Wrong. It's not pho. I think it's pho. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm going to take your word for it. Somebody tell us. Um, But he's like, oh, there's one in Chicago and there's one in Melbourne. And I'm like, and then we got that Mr. 01, which is like, Mm -hmm. so we're getting like some cool places. Yeah, we are. Definitely. I saw somebody post the other day. There was something in Titusville and I can't remember what it was called, but they're like, it's hard to believe that the Space Coast is becoming like a destination for foodies. Yeah. Mm. We need a few more places. Yeah, just a few more. Can we get a good taco place? Like a really amazing street tacos. That would be tacos. great, but there's like so My every corner ones. is like a new Mexican joint but opening not, up. But it's mm-hmm. I don't know if you find a good one, a really good one, let us know. Yeah, I miss a, I miss Equal. Oh yeah, that was good. 
Yeah, that was good. good vegan nachos. Yeah, they were amazing. And my favorite street tacos are in St. Petersburg. And um, yeah, I keep thinking they have, I think, two or three locations over there. And I keep thinking maybe they should open one here. Maybe we could open a street taco. No, no, that's too much work. Yeah. It's like the, the era of the food truck, though. That's how all the good places start off. It's like Apocalypse. Did you see it? So Apocalypse, love it. we love it. They opened a beachside food truck. Yeah, and it has coffee and their breakfast bowls and sandwiches and bagels and mm-hmm. all their fun you know, holiday drinks are over there. And, and it's uh, so close to our office. The old, it was like an old mobile, mobile station. station. Yeah. yeah. So There's they, like another couple food trucks over there. Like, was it Fish Bellies? Maybe? Fish Bellies, which people love. Yeah. I haven't tried that yet. And there's, I think there's one more over there. So know. Apocalypse is only open Wednesday through Sunday. Do not go Monday. I think they're trying to open more. That and would be great. Not that we don't love our other coffee shops too in the yeah. Atlantic Coffee. Yeah. Like that's on love that. Ave. They have good cookies and donuts. They have the sweet artist cookies. And if you think crumble cookies are good, go have a sweet yeah. artist cookie yes. and you'll never. Never go back. Never go back. Yeah. Especially the, I love the peanut butter ones, but I'm a. That's I'm because sort of, you can't have peanut butter at home. It's like you always want what you can't have. My daughter's allergic to peanuts, so there's no peanut butter in my house. Yeah. I know Jen will sometimes be like, I'm having peanut butter and jelly for lunch. I'm like, oh, man. She's like, I can <laughs> you bring have to you tell one her to next pack time. I know. Will you pack me a peanut butter and jelly, mom? <laughs> <laughs> she would anyway, totally do that. Um, we were talking about social media, and we're totally off task here, that's but typical for us. And it's typical. Tangent. Yeah. And I, I sort of have AD&D. I think the AD&D. ADD. AD&D. <laughs> Accidental death and dismemberment. <laughs> but I feel like that's what makes us good realtors because we're like hopping around. Well, yeah, no two days yeah. are like there's always yeah. some new thing to be focused on, yeah. which is great. And uh, that works really good for my brain. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like it too. I like to always be doing something different and change and yeah, yeah it makes it fun. Yeah. So. All right. Well, that's it for us then, right? Yeah. I don't think we're going to be back filming until the new year. So yeah. yay. yay. Yeah. We're going to have a, a good break. Christmas and um, we hope you do too. Well, you're seeing this after Christmas, but we hope you had a good you Christmas. Had a good one. Yeah. Yes. And we're looking forward to the new year and helping you with all your real estate stuff. Call us. We will help you. You will have fun with us. We're just as entertaining when we drive you around in the car and walk through the houses. Right. I I love doing the videos for people and they watch the videos. They're like, oh, oh my gosh. Because we always have commentary on there. One time I we did one and, and I literally locked myself out of the house during filming one of the videos and they laugh their butts off. They did. They they that's all they can still talk about to this day. Yeah. Remember that time? And I'm like, I do remember that time. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. When I locked myself out of the house. So, yeah. Well, so, anyhow, we'll see you in a few we'll weeks. We'll see you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.